Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Recently I've been looking into the origins of what I've called the Primal Culture, the civilization that seems to have influenced the origins of ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, European civilization and the amazing Indus Valley civilization. All evidence seems to point to Anatolia and the Levant in the Fertile Crescent, the place where we see the birth of Neolithic society around 10,500 BC. People who may have taken their way of life, religion, art and skills to various places around the world. In doing this research, I came across a collection of 16 incredible ancient artefacts that were found in the southern Judean desert and hills. They are all made of carved limestone and date to the Neolithic sometime around 7000 BC, each weighing between 1 and 2 kilograms with an oval visage, glaring ocular cavities, sometimes a toothy grin, as well as holes around the outer edge. Experts believe they were painted in antiquity because one of the 16 has remnants of a pigment. Each mask is unique and it is thought that each one depicts a specific individual. Some faces are old, some young, most of them are life-size but one is miniature, being the size of a brooch. Of course, nobody can place too much context on the finds, but one interpretation is that each mask venerated an ancestor, and were used as part of an early Stone Age religion. Talking to the media a few years ago, Dr Debbie Hirschman of Israel Museum said, it is important to say that these are not living people, these are spirits. The masks are important as they are carved human faces, created early in the origins of the new Neolithic way of life, even predating writing by at least 3,500 years. Hirschman believes that the masks are part of an ancestor cult and that a shaman or tribal chief would have wore a mask during a ritual masquerade honouring the dead. This diagram shows where the masks are from, an area of the Judean hills and desert, all within a 30 mile radius, and this is known from studying the types of stone and the patina on the surface of the masks. There were likely more masks made of other materials like wood, that have since been lost through time. Israeli archaeologists found some of the masks during excavations at the Nahal Hema cave back in 1932 which is perched in the limestone cliffs above the shores of the Dead Sea. They were found amongst other Neolithic artefacts such as baskets, beads and the world's oldest known glue. Such artefacts could be dated, which means the associated masks were at least 9,000 years old, but depending on their importance to Neolithic people, they could be even older. Of course, as experts believe, these masks could have cultic importance, but for all we know they could have been used in some other ritual, or were maybe just part of a Neolithic Halloween costume. This mask would not be out of place in Friday the 13th. When I came across this discovery, I couldn't help but make connections to another Neolithic culture, and again it led me to Egypt, to a culture I haven't spoken about on this channel before, and they were known as the Marimde. They evolved in northern Egypt sometime between 4800 and 4300 BC, so more than 2000 years after the Judean masks were created, but there is one artefact from this culture that is very striking. This is the Marimde clay head found in the Neolithic settlement of Marimde Ben Salam, located in the Western Delta. There is some debate about the age of the artefact, with some saying it's from the 4th millennium BC, and hence belonging to the Madi culture of the north, that flourished at the same time as the Nakeda culture in the south. It is one of the earliest human representations found in Egypt and experts believe it was painted and mounted on the end of a staff. Experts believe that hair and a beard would have been added with feathers that were placed in the small holes that we found around the head and face and they also believe it was used in religious rituals. So, although much younger than the examples in the Judean desert, we can see clear parallels not just in appearance, but also by the fact it also has holes around the edges. 
are we looking at evidence of the Near Eastern heritage on ancient Egyptian Neolithic cultures? I certainly think it's possible. Here are two ceramic masks from the pre-dynastic Nakeda II period of ancient Egyptian history that were found in the ancient city of Hierakonpolis in what is known as Tomb 16, and they are thought to be death masks that are placed over the head of the deceased. Masks were even found in early dynastic times. This image was sent to me by Ludovic Sell on Twitter, and I was amazed I'd never seen this before. What this is is a wooden mask of the first dynasty King Den of Egypt, dating to the 29th century BC. Even though this is an early dynastic king, I can't help but make comparisons to Mesopotamian art and styles, and although it is a bit of a stretch I admit that, it could also hark back to the limestone masks and the ancient early Neolithic practices of the Judean desert. But even the limestone masks may hark back to an even earlier tradition, and that's the practice of plastering human schools, again in the Levant region between 11,000 and 8,000 years ago, a practice that took place in the pre-pottery Neolithic B period. These are some of the oldest forms of art in the Middle East, and they prove that funerary traditions and burial practices were of the utmost importance even in these very early times, and could even be the origin of the death masks of later Egyptian cultures. These early Levant burials with plastered schools were often placed under the floors of homes. Sometimes the school was removed, the cavities filled in with plaster and then painted. To create a lifelike face, shells were added for eyes, and paint was used to represent facial features like hair. People believe that like the limestone masks, the plastered schools were made to commemorate and respect family ancestors. Others think they were actually linked to the practice of headhunting, and these schools are actually trophies. Either way, they are a very significant type of find in the archaeological record, going back to the very birth of Neolithic civilization. This is just one short video highlighting one specific subject as I continue to research the origins of Neolithic life after the Younger Dryas. Research is pointing towards the Natufian civilization of the Levant, but it is a very complex line of study, and one I'm taking my time over so I can present a good synopsis for you, the viewer. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.